Hey, my name is Nick Valesky with the USU Extension Integrated Pest Management Program. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about powdery mildew fungus on your cucurbit plants. There are two species of fungi that cause powdery mildew on cucurbits. Symptoms include the white powdery spots on the surface of the leaves when the temperature starts to increase. Over time, the entire leaf can be covered in the powder on the leaves, which is actually the fungal mycelium in spores. Powdery mildew overwinters in fruiting structures on plant debris. When temperatures warm in the late spring, a secondary spore called the conidia forms and blows on leaf tissue to cause infection. In contrast to many fungi, powdery mildew does not thrive with rainfall. The ideal condition for infection are two or more hours of high humidity or dew on the host leaves, which often occurs in cucurbit plantings. After infection, powdery mildew does very well in dry conditions. Infected tissues form more spores that can be blown in with the wind to infect plants in new locations. The cycle of spore production, dissemination, and infection occurs continually all summer long. When temperatures cool in the late summer, the fungus switches from producing the conidia to producing the fruiting structures that contain the spores for winter survival. So be sure to monitor. The key to management is to apply fungicides before the disease spreads. Scout fields for new lesions once per week starting in the late spring. Consider planting resistant varieties. Several resistant varieties are available for squash, cucumbers, and pumpkins. Remove or plow under infected plant material after harvest. This is important to prevent powdery mildew from overwintering. Increase plant spacing. This can help reduce powdery mildew severity with better air movement and reduce humidity in the plant canopy. For chemical control, sulfur products work very well. Apply when the first white spots are observed and repeat applications every seven to 10 days. Once leaves are covered with powdery mildew, chemical control will no longer be effective. Remember, sulfur products cannot be applied above 90 degrees Fahrenheit as this will cause foliar injury. Wrap up. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions on what we just talked about, feel free to contact me or check out our website at utahpest.usu.edu.